back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. So today we are gonna try the newest version of Hop Slam. This is the 2021 version. Shelf life is three months packaged on 1 6 2021. What is today? Today's 116. 21. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um 10% ABV. 1 6. Yeah. I uh oh. Didn't want to do this. And Brad wasn't, I, yeah, Brad wasn't, wasn't going to do this. Um, but if you've been following us for a while, you have um, heard me mention my friends, Matt and Rob, that like to drink with us. And specifically Rob, who likes piney, hoppy beer. Like this. this is one of Rob's favorites. And um, Rob was uh, succumbed to injuries from a snowboard accident. Last week, um, actually, the week hop slam came out, yep. and um, so he uh, yeah passed away this week. And we are doing this beer review in honor of him. And I'm gonna drink this beer for him because he would have loved to have had this version of hop slam because I always would buy the six pack and yep. share sneak it to him, sneak <laughs> sneak one to him in his truck um, while he was working, and uh, so yeah. Friend of friend of ours, and this one, yep. this one's for him. So yep. let's let's get into it. Let's hope it tastes piney, and citrusy, <laughs> and happy. Um, I have more of a head. It's white, and off have, white. Look at like like they're not even popping. Like the bubbles. Well, I can see the. It's because we have half of a beer. Right. Um, but yeah, mostly small bubbles, some medium, not even a quarter finger of head color. Somewhat hazy, chill haze in there. I can make out the light box an orangish yellow color in there. Looks fine. It's pretty yellow. It, I, it's and I didn't watch color, any of the past ones yeah. to compare. I don't remember what it looked like last year or the year before or any of it. I, it looks, it almost yeah. looks more yellow. Did I, did I just say that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But, like it, it's really know. it is a it's not even like a golden color it's pretty yellow yeah and so this is made with I I see <laughs> I say something gross but I won't it's like Brad's pee in the morning <laughs> um this is brewed with honey right now I see posts all the time every single year I don't get the honey taste it's brewed with honey. It's going to be a fermentable sugar to up the ABV. You're people, not going to get that. the honey taste, but they need to because a lot of people say it. because this has honey in it, it's going to be a sweet honey flavor, and that's not the case. The yeast is going to take care of that, the sugars, and produce a higher ABV beer. If you wanted honey in it, you'd have to put it in when it's bottled. Right, but what I'm saying is that I, as a consumer, would just be like, well, this doesn't taste like honey. I'm not a seasoned beer drinker like well, you. Right. And That's I don't why brew I'm saying like it. you. So anybody yeah. out there... But even there, the honeybee that you brewed it didn't taste like honey. Because it was used in the boil, in the fermentation, so it's not... You're not going to get the honey taste. I don't think you you're ever going to taste honey in a beer, are you? Yeah, like, ever? If, if you put it in at bottling, where the yeast... Is still probably going to eat a little bit, oh. but you could get more of a honey taste. All right. If you really wanted a honey taste, you'd use honey malt. Well, Rob wants us to start drinking this yeah. and stop talking about it, Brad, so let's smell it. Pine, citrus, a little floral. This doesn't smell as slam, hop slam, it, as I it thought really, it would. It hasn't in probably 10 <laughs> plus years. <laughs> That's true. I do remember specifically talking about this. Is <laughs> yeah. it's not a hit you in yeah. the face. It, it's an old... I mean, I don't think they've changed the recipe. I think it just changes a little every year just because of the hops they use. Mm -hmm. Now, you would think if you're using that many hops that it would be hard to change you know what i'm saying okay. to change yeah. the smell profile the sure. aroma point yeah. but it does it's just like oberon oberon changes every year and my guess is they use the same recipe every it's single just year the little variance yeah so okay. it's going to change some but yeah citrus a little grapefruit you, you could 
kind of say it's on the long, it's like too hearted just without that malt. It's more piney citrus going through there. But as far, cheese, as far as hot <laughs> slam goes, I would not say it's a hot slam. It really hasn't been, especially in today's world right. where some of these beers, I think the, what was it? The brew dog jackhammer or whatever is supposed to be like 230 IBUs. So, yeah. Okay. We don't want to listen to you talk. You <laughs> said the same things last year. Let's go. Okay, drink. You'd like it. It's too bitter for me. You do get that bitterness in the back. Big, malty, sweet profile up front. <sighs> I got the goosebumps. Um, like, <laughs> ooh. It, I know it's been cold. It tastes a little warm for whatever reason. Yeah, it doesn't taste as cold as yeah. I thought it would. I, it, I bought it at 4.30 in today. the afternoon at Bell's. <laughs> and now, right now it's 7.32, and I drove from Bell's, which is 10 minutes home, and put it in the refrigerator there. So it was in the cooler there, right at home, put it in the... I mean, right. it's not been sitting out by any means. It does taste a little warm. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, they're cold. Oh, maybe our fridge is going out. <laughs> um, what a way to learn that. <laughs> big, sweet malt profile up front, but for a double IPA, um, you're expecting that. The citrus bitterness kicks in, but I think on this one, and maybe it's just from drinking all the double IPAs, it's almost like a candied citrus in the middle. But then that that bitterness pine does kick in and goes throughout the rest of the palate, even into the aftertaste. I'm still getting bitterness. I'm glad I bought one bottle. I'm sad that I only bought one bottle because I really would have liked to share some of my six. But since I was not able to do that, I do not care for this, and it does not surprise me a bit. <laughs> it's too. It's too bitter. Yeah. I mean, that gave me straight up goosebumps immediately. I mean, comparatively speaking, I've never really loved Hop Slam, so I can't really say, oh, compared to last year, I liked it or didn't like it. I'm going to, out of a beer, though, I would say it's a, it's a three out of five. Yeah. Because it's not horrible, and I know people like it, and it has a <clears throat> cult following, if you will. Um, it's just not my favorite Bell's beer, and that's okay. It seems light. Like yeah, the I would, body yeah, of I would it, say that too. I you are know. using honey, but yeah, it's just weird. It just something like the body's lighter, like it's a sweeter candied citrus. I don't remember that from years past. I still have like the bitter taste like on my tongue. I can feel the alcohol in my throat. Bitterness alcohol in my throat. What are you going with? Probably a four out of five. Okay. Well, you told me to grab one because you yeah. wouldn't drink all six. So would that yeah, still stand? Yeah, because usually in the past, and I know I have them around here, um, I get a six pack, I'll drink a couple, I'll save a couple, and then I'll do like 2018, 2019, sure. 2020. Okay. And then he gave it up. He's like, I'd rather age cherry stouts and then they'd be nasty too. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, it, it, overall, I think it's good. It's, I, I don't, I would rather have more flavor than all that bitterness in there. Yeah. Um, so. It's all right. Yeah, four out of five. Um, 16 of my friends have checked the 2021 version in, 4.38 out of five. 3,000 people have rated it 4.38 out of five. So they're right down the middle. Or they're, it's right with yeah. you, though. Yep. It's more with you than me. I said well, three. Yeah. But that's that's because this isn't my kind of beer. And we all know that. If you've watched any yeah, of Doug these videos, you would know that this is not my type. But in honor of my friend, here I am. Yep. And Rob, this one wasn't my cup of tea, but you would know that. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I would say if you're into bigger double IPA, especially with that bitterness, pick one up. 
pick a six pack up. Yep. I know some people have been seeing it for twenty four ninety nine a six pack, and others have been seeing it for sixteen ninety nine. That is some serious price gouging. Is so, it not? Well, I don't know. You oh. know, did you get a receipt? Yes. Okay, but yes, I don't I know did. how much one is. I but paid sixteen dollars for six beers total, but let me tell you, I bought a bright white and I bought <laughs> and I bought a lager, lager of the legs. legs, and so I just wanted some <clears throat> light drinking. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I don't know how much it was uh, for the single. Yeah, I want to say eighteen ninety nine, something about that, but you'll have to go back and watch all the older ones. But yeah, yeah this one's fine. This year's is fine. Cool. Yep. So if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing.